Hensley. Welcome to Chow Time. It's a kind of a rainy day in Burton, Ohio, in Northeast Ohio, but uh, there are two things that Burton is known for, maple syrup and the Amish community. And so that's what today's show is going to be all about. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit about maple syrup and the whole process. And uh, I have a very special guest on the show today. Amish baker Emma Miller is going to show us her secret recipe for fantastic maple cookies. But I do have someone here to help me along with the show. And uh, come on over here. Uh, this is Linda Nemeth, and she is the, the, uh, the director of tourism for Geauga County. Hi, Linda. Good morning, Robin. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, rain and all. Yeah, little raindrops never hurt. They actually help the maple sugaring process. Oh, that's good. Hey, listen, tell me something that I don't know about maple syrup. Tell me something new. The maple syrup that you buy in the store most likely contains less than 1% of actual maple product. Most of, almost every brand? Most brands contain zero. If you read it, it's all fructose syrup and natural flavorings. But our real maple syrup that we make here in Geauga County is 100% pure, which means it takes about 40 to 50 gallons of sap to make one gallon of Geauga County maple syrup. Are you trying to tell me that Mrs. Butterworth? She's a scam. Sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, well, let's go discover Burton, Ohio. Uh, this is Judy, and you're like a maple sugar expert, and, and you educate people all about it, and I do have a question. Yes. Well, first of all, I picture... Who was the first guy who came along, looked at a tree, and said, I wonder if there's wonderfully sweet syrup in there? The Native Americans were really the first ones to discover that there was this sweet water in the tree. There's different stories of how they discovered it, that it was an accident, that they put a tomahawk in the tree and then pulled the tomahawk out, and then sweet water dripped out into a container, and then they ended up cooking with it and discovered their food tasted totally different than they were used to. Is maple syrup made anywhere in the world uh, other than America and Canada? Uh, basically, the ma sugar maple tree grows in the northeastern part of the United States and southeastern Canada, so that's the only place in the whole world where we make actual sh maple syrup. And this log cabin uh, has been a maple syrup processing building since 1931. I wanted to bring you to the Burton Log Cabin. This beautiful building is actually run by the Burton Chamber of Commerce, and they make fabulous maple product here all year long. Uh, they have their syrup, they make fabulous maple candy, and I think we're going to see a demonstration about that in just a little bit. This is maple syrup heated to 240 degrees Fahrenheit or softball on candy thermometer. And we take this syrup and we stir it just a regular beater and it'll start to crystallize and then we'll pour it into the molds. It takes about three to five minutes. This is maple cream candy. Maple cream candy. Mm -hmm. Yes it is. <laughs> Here in Geauga Park District, Sugarbush, we have 800 buckets hanging from the trees. And our operations crew are out now collecting the sap from the buckets. And they'll dump it into a holding bin here and haul it back to the sugar house. been gathered, it is now boiled at the sugar house.
Well, we've seen maple syrup go from the tree to the jar. And so now it's time to do a little baking with it. I'm at the Amish Home Craft Shop and Bakery in Middlefield, Ohio. And so we're going to go make some homemade maple iced cookies with Emma. Now, I do want to mention that uh, Emma is uh, uh, Amish. And um, according to their religion, they do not like to have uh, their pictures taken. Uh, so she has agreed to be on Chow Time, but we're going to be filming very discreetly. So let's go meet Emma. Hello, Emma. Hi. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. meet you. I can't wait to try your uh, maple cookies. In fact, I brought my own apron. So oh, that's you, good. You can that'll put work. me to work. Okay. All right. All right. Where do we start with? We start with with the eggs. It takes four eggs. Okay. And you're putting them into a kitchen aid mixer? Yes, we run that off of a inverter on a 12 volt battery that will run it. Oh, excellent. So that saves a lot of... It saves me, because I got shoulder problems the way it is, so this helps me a lot. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we need four eggs. Yes. I can help you with that. Put your eggs over the, underneath the table. And the white sugar, and that takes one cup a little bit more. One cup of each? Yes, one cup of each. Okay. So now we got that. Now we take, take one and a half cups of oleo. And you can use butter, right? You can also use butter, but this recipe calls for oleo, so we put oleo. I also understand that you make a great maple muffin, but you will never give up that recipe. The maple roll. Maple maple rolls. Yeah. yeah. So I can't have that? Not. <laughs> One cup of milk. Just the flour. Oh, five cups. This makes a lot of cookies. Yeah, it does. Okay. It takes two teaspoons of soda. And it takes four teaspoons of baking powder. Put the salt. Okay. Now it takes three tablespoons of flavoring. And that's it for the cookies. Now we gotta stir them yet. You ever like to stick your finger in there and eat a little of the raw dough? Yeah, I, I've had years ago, but I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Um, I grow, I out through that. <laughs> okay. I have not outgrown doing that. Mmm. <laughs> the dough is great. Is it? Yeah. Good. Good. And that's always such a good idea to use an ice cream scoop. Let's finish this up. Let's get the, you can see where all the... Spots are right there. We always get cookies almost at the same spot. Oh, yeah. No, you don't have to grease the sheet no, at all. No, okay. I don't have to grease it. So you got them a couple inches apart because it looks like they're going to spread out to be a pretty yeah. good sized cookie. Mm -hmm. The secret is when they're that high, yeah. you want to flatten them just a little bit so they don't get all puffy. That, okay. that way they'll spread out a little bit more. Now, for the Amish bakery that you run, Emma, you must be baking all day and all night. And do you get up really early in the morning? Well, or? this morning I got up at 4 o'clock. Yeah. And Fridays and Saturdays I have to get up earlier. But during the week, it just depends on what the weather is. Now, last summer we baked around the clock. Wow. But in the winter time it's a little bit different because of the, it depends on the weather. A lot yeah. has to do with the weather. Now, the only time I ever get up at four is when I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're at 375 degrees. We'll put it in an oven like that. And now Emma has already started making the frosting. Well, it should be, it should be uh, probably about two cups according to my heart, but we're just going to, there's all we have left right now. Neighborhood maple syrup. Yeah. Fresh maple syrup. See how nice and clear it is. Beautiful color. Put this in here. 
That'll hold the bowl. Very good. Let me add a little bit of the real butter. That's probably the consistency it has to be, not too thick and not too thin, just so it doesn't run off your cookie. Now, mm -hmm. do you ever get tired because you live with uh, wonderful sweets every single day? Do you ever get tired of them? Or? Well, you'd be surprised, I'm, and I'm amazed at myself because I don't eat that much in between, so I don't get very tired of it, no, mm -hmm. because I don't eat it like I, you know, a lot of people probably just eat it every time you think of, well, I say, no, I'm going to sell it first. If I can sell it, <laughs> get rid of it. And then if I eat what's left. All right, now, are you going to sell these to me, or can I have one for free? Well, you can have one, sure. <laughs> Would you split one with me? Yeah, I'll split one with okay. you. Okay. There you go. Excuse my fingers. That's okay. You know, this cookie is very cake-like, too. It's very mm -hmm. light. Mmm. The maple shines through on this. Mm -hmm. I, I was telling you about my famous cin maple cinnamon roll. Yes. Would you like to try one? I would absolutely love to. Oh, I'll my give gosh. you a sock. Oh, these look so gooey. Oh, man. Mmm. Wow. That is the best maple cinnamon roll I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure I can't have that recipe? Well, I don't really want to part with it. Oh, Never. Come on. Never. Oh. Never. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for being a special guest on Chow Time. And I'm so glad uh, you're sharing your wonderful maple cookie recipes with the world. You know, if I were you, I don't think I'd give up this recipe either. <laughs> Thank you.